I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a weathering erosion landscape from Mono Lake. We're going to start way over here on the left at the bottom about one finger and put a dot. Now we're going to start by going up, curve line down, up, down, up, down, up, and leave it floating. Now because this is uh, an example of erosion, we're going to have a lot of lines going up and down, very organic. So we're going to start right above here with a dot, and we're going to draw a straight line up, curve line in, curve line, straight line up, curve line out, up, down, keep going, curve line, down, and leave it floating. We're going to come right about here where we stopped and just draw a little curve line up, down, curve line up, 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 keep going, curve line out, er, over, over, down, curve line, up, straight, wavy line, curve line, curve line, curve line, up, straight line, straight diagonal up, Curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, straight line down, curve line, curve line, up, straight line, bam, it crashes into that, come over here, this is an overlap, curve line, curve line out, down, keep going, wavy line up, off the page. Now you look at this and you go, what is this? It's because all of the winds have weathered these into making them almost, they look like rock formations that are like sculptures. Now come inside and we're just going to follow some of the lines. Straight line, curve line, leave it floating. Come back up. Straight line down, curve line out, wave line, leave it floating. Come over back over here on the left. We're just going to come inside and follow that line. Straight line, curve line wavy. Straight line down, leave it floating. Straight line, wavy line. Straight line down, leave it floating. Every one of these marks is from the wind over a long time, period of time, coming in and whipping around these rock formations and leaving them. Now, you can come up to this, wavy line down, leave it floating. Wavy line down, leave it floating. They, they end up looking like giant mushrooms. Leave it down, come in, follow your line you made, wavy line down. Everybody's is going to look different. Mine looks different from the other sample I just finished, so don't become alarmed. Now come to this space, straight diagonal, straight line down, leave it floating. Straight line, straight line down, leave it floating. Wavy line, straight line down, follow the top, straight line down, come in, leave it floating. Come to this last one right here, let's follow the top, Wavy line, wavy line down, straight line, wavy line down, leave it floating. Now you're going to come in and do the base part, and again we're just going to follow what we've kind of already drawn. So you draw a curved line, wavy line, curved line, bring it up, wavy line, follow the lines you've already done. Bring these back in, wavy line straight line, and it's all striated rock formations. Really kind of interesting and very much like sculptures. 
might want to come in and draw this wavy line, make it a little bit bigger. None of it has to really connect. I think that's it. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, like I said, everybody's is going to look different, and it should look different because it's Mother Nature and it's weathering and it's erosion. But the one thing I would like everybody to do is take a regular blue crayon and color the background first. If you do the background first, you will be able to see what you just drew. Like this is a very important space that needs to be colored in blue so that you can see the space in between your giant rock mushrooms. Bring it over. And this again, you know, you might want to take two sessions, one session coloring the background, the next session coloring in these giant weathered towering rock formations from Mono Lake. So the first thing I do is I want to color in my background so that I can see what's rock and what is sky. And it's a very brilliant blue against the rock. Now if you Google Mono Lake, you'll see this example and you'll see some other examples of weathered rock that's been eroded and it's so spectacular that it is a state park in California up in Northern California okay so this is all sky now if you have a gray crayon you're just gonna lightly loop-de-loop -loop over your rock formations. So you're going to take a coat of gray and go over the top of everything. Some of you will say, I don't have a gray. Then very lightly with your black you can go over all of these rock formations. It's very impressive because positive negative space they are very very intense against that blue sky. Now you're going to come down and do this bottom part also. What I would do is follow the lines you've already drawn because we're going to enhance those lines with black. You will do a way better job than me right now. Okay? I'm just getting that first layer of color for the rocks and for my sky. Okay? Once you've done that very carefully, very carefully, we are going to take our black crayon and we're going to color part of the tops of all the mushrooms. Put some black in there. Now don't put so much black you kill your drawing. But this is this top part is colored black because it's shadowed by the sun. These things are immense. So come in and do the tippy tops of these weathered rock formations. Then come down and following the lines you've already drawn, you add a little bit of black. Not a lot, just a little. And follow the lines you've already drawn. You don't have to reinvent the wheel on this. Follow the lines you've already drawn. Just to give it a little bit of texture and so you can see the lights and darks of all of it. And like I said, everybody should look different because we all draw differently. You can add more. Now be careful with the black. You can always add more, but you can't take it away. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here are the weathered erosion Mono Lake rock formations up in Northern California. Very, very, very striking. Mother Nature's best artist. Okay, bye bye.